Get ready for Buzz TV adventure. Exploring and discovering exciting destinations. I am totally excited, and I'm already in awe. We are uh, in Fort Pierce on A1A, uh, on North Hutchinson Island, uh, just a stone's throw across the Indian River County border into uh, St. Lucie County, and we're, we're here at the National Navy UDT Seal Museum. Now, I have, I have heard about this place for years. In fact, I've been living in Indian River County for the past 25 years. Have I ever been here before? No. And from what I've seen so far, it is a great place to be. It's a great tribute, and, and, and it's just a really neat place. They've got in all kinds of exhibits outside and inside. So today, we're going to take a little Buzz TV adventure and discover the National Navy UDT Seal Museum. Come on, let's have a look. Andy Brady is the community outreach coordinator here at the uh, National Navy Seal Museum and Memorial, and we are actually in part of the memorial part of the property, yes? Yes, we are. We're standing in front of the only wall in America dedicated to frogmen and seals killed in combat and combat training. Why does this facility exist? The facility exists back in 1943. Uh, the Navy opened an amphibious training base on South Hutchison Island to prepare for the invasion of Normandy. As amphibious warfare was new, obstacles were a problem right off the bat. They chose a gentleman named Draper Kaufman. They said, you're going to Fort Pierce to figure out how to blow up obstacles. So where we're standing is the site of the training facility on North Hutchison Island that was strictly for demolition, where underwater demolition and Navy frogmen were invented right where we're standing here now. How much of an impact on World War II did the activities here have? Well, with your uh, underwater demolition teams and your frogmen, they were very key in the Pacific Theater to blast lanes for the amphibious landings on every island in the Pacific that Marines went to. And there's a lot going on on this property. There's, there's exhibits outside and inside. Can you, can you give us a rundown of what is here? Well, um, we just finished our $2.2 .2 million renovation. So now when you go into the museum, you go in in current times and go through history backwards. Uh, we have ex exhibits, as you'll see, we have the lifeboat from the Maersk, Alabama, where Captain Phillips was rescued by the SEAL snipers from the Somali Pirates. We also have a Black Hawk helicopter that was involved in the rescue of Jess Buchanan and Paul Thiestet in Somalia from the Pirates also there. And coincidentally, that same helicopter carried a team of snipers to the Black Hawk Down crash site, coincidentally the same helicopter that was used in the rescue of Jess Buchanan. What are people's reactions when they come here? They're uh, amazed and shocked and happy and it, all the above. We seldom, we don't get any complaints here. People leave here, they're very glad that they came here. It's very patriotic there, so it's good. Well, um, the, let's get the, the basic stats out of the way. Um, location, times of operation, when people can visit. Right, we're open uh, Tuesday through Sunday. Tuesday to Saturday is 10 to 4 and Sunday is noon to 4. We're located in beautiful North Hutchison Island uh, at Pepper Park. Uh, the museum will be 30 years old in November. So, invite everybody to come. We have a lot of stuff for kids. We have interactive games inside, plan a mission. We have an obstacle course that is a replica from the basic underwater demolition school uh, that SEALs train on today. It's cut down for kids. It's 25% of the real obstacle course. There has always been a need for elite military units. Those that possess the unique skills required to counter an unconventional enemy. See Arts in Depth with Barbara Hoffman, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 and 10 p.m. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. 
So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. We're with Andy Brady at the uh, UDT uh, Seal Museum in, uh, in Fort Pierce. Can you walk us along this wall a moment? I mean, it, it, uh, to, to my left here is the uh, World War II and uh, Korean um, tributes, and, and there's a lot of names there, aren't there? There are a lot of names. Um, the wall runs from World War II, as you said, through current times. Actually, there's 285 names on here. Now, people would say that is not a lot of names, but people don't realize that Naval Special Warfare is only 0.08% of the Navy. So it's not a big group of guys doing a lot of great stuff. It's a hazardous occupation, isn't it? Somewhat. Yeah. Uh, and, and the displays uh, go around the wall. Um, the, the most recent? The last, the last uh, name up there, I believe, was a parachuting accident. There were two more deaths in training uh, several months ago, uh, and I, I guess the investigation isn't done yet on that. How did you get involved here? I'm a lucky guy. Now, what's your history? Well, my history is my father graduated West Point on D-Day, uh, the only class at the military academy to graduate in three years as the war was on. He was proud that his classmate was John Eisenhower, Ike's son. So by the time I was a senior in high school, he finally retired. So I was a 17 Army brat. We lived in many states, Turkey. And when he finally did retire, we'd been living in Navy land, Virginia Beach. So from the sixth grade up, it was all my kids, were, their dads were all Navy guys. So I was, where I lived, Navy SEALs were there. I met SEALs in high school. I mean, this is all, uh, this is like full circle to work here. And it's an honor to work here. So you kind of grew up knowing these guys. I kind of grew up knowing. I grew up knowing what the military is all about, the sacrifices that families have to make. Uh, I know my brother and sister and I did a fine job and make my mother crazy. <laughs> so you know, but yeah. Uh, so working here, I felt I couldn't be any luckier. Yeah. Um, uh, aside from the wall that we're standing at, uh, what are some of your other uh, favorite favorite parts of the property here? Everything. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> Well, all the static displays here, it goes from, we have, under, we have uh, seal delivery vehicles, which are wet uh, underwater vehicles that de will deploy combat swimmers to do a mission. We have boats from Vietnam that were instrumental in inserting and extracting seals, PBRs. Uh, we have a, a big boat, which I think will go on shortly, 82 foot, it's called a Mark V. It was a seal deployment vessel, also a medium range coastal patrol boat. The speed of warfare left it obsolete. So we have one here, we've had it for about three or four years. Okay, shall we go to check it out? We shall. The Navy SEALs were originally commissioned to conduct maritime guerrilla warfare in the jungles and waterways of Vietnam. Operating in small independent groups in order to maximize stealth and the element of surprise. Over time, new tactics demanded new skills. Join Marshall Little John nightly at 5 and 9 on VeroBuzzTV.com. Attention, this important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare supplement insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare supplement insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare Supplement Team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics. 
in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all, from color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach. We're with Andy Brady at the uh, UDT uh, Seal Museum in, uh, in Fort Pierce. Can you point out what some of these things are that, I mean, they're, they're pretty impressive here, the grounds, and, and there's, it's littered, absolutely littered with these, with these, these pieces of machinery. What's, what's out here? All right, well, these two vessels you see here are called PBRs, Patrol Boat River. Uh, operated in the rivers of Vietnam and were very instrumental in instract, extracting and inserting seals during Vietnam. Teeth. Both of the teeth on it is from the inshore underwater weapons group and they guarded harbors uh, in Vietnam looking for North Vietnamese and Saipan or fishing boats. In the far corner over there is an Iranian gunboat that was captured. Um, it was used to run at Navy ships in San Diego as they left port so they would know what a silhouette of an Iranian gunboat would look like. The helicopter behind us is a very interesting story. Uh, the SEALs needed air support in Vietnam. The Army couldn't fly at night, just their medevacs, so they formed a squadron called the Sea Wolves. Before the hurricanes, this helicopter had flex guns and rocket launchers on it, and they're the only squadron in naval aviation history formed out of America and disbanded out of America. And just about any SEAL from Vietnam said these guys saved their lives more than once. Yeah. So, it's very good. The space capsules you see are training capsules. Back in the day when astronauts splashed down, the frogmen retrieve the astronauts, and this is what they used to practice to put the flotation collars on them. So a lot of training actually took place right here. Well, the training for World War II started, believe it, the first naval combat demolition units were formed June 6, 1943. Those are the guys who went to Normandy. That was pre-frogmen. When they went to Normandy, they didn't swim yet. They took a 52% casualty rate. The Navy has looked. The Pacific Theater is way water, and we can't have 52% 50 hits. They came right back here and created the underwater demolition teams, which call themselves frogmen. Other people, when they come here, probably get an education. Have you gotten an education just working here? Every day. I've met incredible people here. I've met World War II guys. I've met guys that guard the State Department in Kenya. I've met anyone. I've forgotten all the people I've met. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's a uh, living history book here. Yeah. And, 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 and folks uh, coming here, um, I mean, that's got to bring them right back to where they were years ago. I've seen grown men walk out of here teared up. So, yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, what's, what's a good reason for people to come here? It's a big part of history, a big part of American history, uh, a big part of our freedom, because freedom is not free. As I tell the kids that come in here that really know, but they don't know, I remind them that the people on that wall there have given it their all because freedom's not free. You get a lot of school kids here? Oh, yeah. What impresses them the most? What, what opens up their eyes? The guns. Yeah. yeah, we have a lot of weapons in there. They like that. They're, they're big on the, the, they love the obstacle course. Watch Chamber Buzz at 6 and 10 p.m. Mondays and Wednesdays on HeroBuzzTV.com. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. Andy Brady, you're taking us up the, the steps here. Where are we headed? We're heading up to the Mark V. Uh, 
This is a SEAL deployment vessel, also can be used as a medium range coastal patrol boat. We have this vessel here because the speed of warfare left it obsolete. So, so where, did, where did this see action? This particular vessel has been in 25 countries plus Iraq. Now who would have been on here and uh, what would their missions have been? Uh, this vessel is equipped to hold a SEAL platoon and f has four operators. As you see this ramp here, they can drive their inflatables right up on it. They can launch a SEAL delivery vehicle off it. It's 82 feet, it's 52 tons, it's powered by two 2200 diesel horsepower turbocharged jet drives. Its top speed is 60 plus knots, holds about 1400 gallons worth of fuel and it's about $4,800 an hour to operate. The big reason why it's too big to get around, you can't drop this out of an airplane on a parachute. To get this in the largest transport aircraft, they have to take everything off it, strap it to the deck, it has its own special transporter, they shove it in there, they get to the location, they take it out, they put it back together. Then they drive it to where they have to take it. When you give uh, tours to school kids, how, many, how, many, how often do school kids come on these grounds? Uh, I'd say we'll do two or three a month when school's in and then summer camp is even more. Summer camp, man, it's like three a week of summer yeah. camp kids that come out here. Do they get to come up on this on this ship? Oh yeah. Uh, usually the age groups, they love the kid the little kids love to jump around on this and get their picture taken on it. And if you do come here, inside there are the seats. We have a video playing on there, uh, loudly, I might add, of the capabilities of that river rainbow right there. So that's a big hit. It's about a fifteen minute video. So people can sit up here and enjoy that and sit right in the seats. Uh, we, we totally appreciate your giving us a tour today. What, uh, again, when can people come out here and have a look at things? Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 4, Sunday noon to 4, close on Mondays. Is there a charge to get in? It's $10 if you're over 12 and between 6 and 12 is $5 and under 6 is free. And I imagine there are special events that take place here throughout the year. Glad you brought that up. Coming up November 7th, we're going to celebrate our 30th muster. And um, what it is, we, we draw about between eight and 10,000 people. We sent bleachers up in the field north of us. We have a, unfortunately for everyone, I open to show up. My boss, uh, retired Master Chief Rick Kaiser, ex-Navy SEAL, will parachute in behind me. I hand in a microphone. Then the Navy Leapfrogs will parachute in when they play the national anthem. And then we have a dog demonstration with the St. Lucie County uh, Sheriff's Canines, a SEAL demonstration. And then here on this boat right here, a band called the American Rogues will play. We have the food truck invasion. So we have food, music, and adult beverages for everyone until sundown. It's a great day. It's a patriotic day. It's, it's wonderful. Throughout the year, any other special days here? Memorial Day, we have a uh, service at the wall. In a way, it's kind of special every day, though, right? It is. Every day here, is, it's a great experience. I can't wait to get to work to see who's going to come through that door. and It's just amazing. Freddie Wilfrick and Gregory Simpson invite you to Spotlight Indian River weeknights at 6.30 and 10.30. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all from color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach. Attention, this important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare Supplement Insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare Supplement Insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare Supplement Team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. Can you tell me a little bit about this uh, obstacle course behind you? Right, this obstacle course here, um, it's 25% of the obstacle course that they use at BUDS, which is SEALs basic training, basic underwater demolition school. We cut it down for the kids. Uh, adults are welcome yeah. to try it, and we left the obstacles that will kill you out of it. It's cool. a big hit. People, you can come and run the obstacle course. 
without going to the museum, it doesn't cost you a dime. You're just, uh, if you fall, you fall. Hey, there's got to be somebody that uses this for a regular exercise routine, yeah? Actually, there's some guys that do obstacle course races that put weight jackets on and come out here and blister it. Uh, I believe the record's 238, 2 minutes and 38 seconds. You, uh, you brought a guest out with us. Who have we got here? Yes, we have another attraction. This is Raven. He's our multi-purpose canine. He's a Belgian Malinois, and this is Phil Ryan, his handler, and also my partner in crime at the museum. Phil, um, how long have you been working here, and uh, how do you like it? Almost four years. Oh, it's great. Great place to work. And, uh, and why, why have you got a dog here? Well, we have a dog for a few reasons. Um, we want to show the public um, what kind of dogs that the SEAL teams use. Um, we also use Raven um, to, pre uh, to protect our guests here at the museum. And uh, actually, Raven's in the middle of um, explosive, uh, explosives detection. So we're going to use him here at the museum and, uh, you know, to search, uh, search out for explosives and stuff. Fantastic. Um, and uh, and tell me a little bit about him. Well, Raven's uh, eight months old, and uh, he was donated to the museum by um, a, um, a breeder called Baden Canine from uh, um, up in uh, Ontario, Canada. Uh -huh. And um, he's been with us for about two months. Prior to this dog, we had a uh, two-year-old uh, Dutch Shepherd, um, but she was a little rough with the guests. Uh, wasn't too kid friendly, yeah. so uh, they donated another dog, and uh, Raven's a perfect fit. For Fantastic. Eight months, you said? He's eight months old. Yep. Yep. So he's just a beginner. Um, not believe it or not, yeah. they're very well capable at eight months. Their training starts at about eight to ten weeks old. Wow. So, yeah. so by eight months, they're uh, very capable. So uh, it makes a great greeter and a protector all in one. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you both for coming out here today. Thank you. Thank you. There has always been a need for elite military units. Those that possess the unique skills required to counter an unconventional enemy. Watch Sebastian Plus at 7 and 11 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays on SebastianBuzzTV.com. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and in Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. With Andy Brady at the uh, UDT uh, Seal Museum in, uh, in Fort Pierce. There's some really cool things in here, aren't there? Certainly are. We're standing probably in the most requested or the most talked about artifact that we have. The actual lifeboat uh, from the Merck, Alabama, where Captain Phillips was rescued by SEAL snipers from the S Somali pirates. So right behind us here, this is the original boat. Everything took place in that boat. And you were telling me that when some people come here, they don't know what a Navy SEAL is. What do you tell them, or, or what exhibits explain that for them? Well, right around the corner, we have a glass case that shows a guy, a diver, a parachutist, and a land guy. And on the glass it has sea, air, and land, which is an acronym of the environments that they work in. Yeah. And around us, we're, we're, I mean, this is, you're surrounded by things. You don't know where to look first, do you, when you come in? That's right. Um, we have the, we have the uh, mock up of bin Laden's compound. It was on 60 Minutes when the guy that wrote that book years ago just yeah. showed the raid. They donated that to us. Of course, we have the lifeboat from the Mersk right here. The Black Hawk helicopter you see right here came from the 160th, the Night Stalkers. Uh, they're an Army unit, the best helicopter pilots in the world. Their job is to fly Special Forces, Delta and SEALs. Matter of fact, guys from this group flew the SEALs to Bin Laden's house. This particular helicopter we 
uh, received was the helicopter that Jess Buchanan and her Danish counterpart were rescued in, put in when they had seals rescued from the pirates out in the desert. You've had some pretty impressive uh, people come through these walls, haven't you? We've had a few. We've had uh, Dick Cheney was here visiting. Keith Hernandez from the Mets has been here. What's what's your favorite part? What's your favorite exhibit within within the indoors here? Probably the lifeboat. Yeah. Um, it's quite a story. We know Captain Phillips. He's been here before. He did call us and tell us that the movie was great, but there was no chit chatting in the boat like the movie portrayed. Portrayed yeah. only in America. He said that never happened. There was no talking. None. This, what we're looking at is really the, the expansion and the renovations that have taken place. Again, all that is pretty recent in history, right? Correct. Uh, they started on the, the renovation in February and completed it, I believe we opened April 23rd as this is. And we haven't, our attendance has been way above normal for the summertime this year. Absolutely. Yeah. And what's the future for the museum? Uh, talk about another building uh, and just go from there. Yeah. I appreciate you giving us this tour today, and um, and what would you say to people that are that are watching right now in terms of you know why what they would see and why they need to come here? Uh, Naval Special Warfare started where we're standing, yeah. so it all started here 72 years ago. It's a great place. It's a patriotic place. Uh, all the Navy SEALs that I've met are just great guys, and believe me, we're glad they're on our side. And for all the people that drive by and go, you know, I've driven by here a hundred times and never stop, it's well worth an hour of your time to come in here and see what we have to offer. Thank you. Appreciate it. Join Marshall Little John nightly at 5 and 9 on VeroBuzzTV.com. Attention, this important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare supplement insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare supplement insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare Supplement Team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. We can also help you find the right Medicare Supplement Policy from the best insurance companies around. So if you or someone you know is about to turn 65 years or older, call Nation's Helpline today. Don't spend more than you have to on Medicare Supplement Insurance. Call Nation's Helpline today and find out how easy it is to protect the ones you love. Even if you already have Medicare, this is a program for you. The call and quote is free, and there are no obligations. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. That is 800-632-2804. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Hi, I'm Penny Chandler. I'm, I'm Freddie Woolfolk. I am Barbara Hoffman. And I'm Gregory Simpson. I'm here with Police Chief David Curry. You're in good company on VeroBuzzTV.com, Vero Beach's local TV station on the Internet. I just love it. Tell a friend. We love y'all! Watch Sebastian Plus at 7 and 11 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays on SebastianBuzzTV.com. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage. But you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. <laughs> Advertise your business on Buzz TV. Email buzztvnetwork at gmail.com or call 772-777-1382. Mm -hmm.